Hello and welcome to the Friday Feedback Roundup for Perfect America, the best channel on YouTube. And as always, we're going to start by taking a look at new subscribers. Our subscriber count has doubled since the last update from one subscriber to two. So clearly growth is exponential on the channel. New subscriber, I want to let you know that your profile is not public. So I'm not able to personally congratulate you for subscribing to the best channel on YouTube. If you would like to switch your YouTube profile to a public profile, I will offer the recognition that you deserve. Moving on now, this video received a lot of interest from viewers. Giant vagina protests will be sent to Donald Trump. This video went into some details about how women are trying to get their message in front of Donald Trump since he is a misogynist. The first viewer to respond to this video was Driver, who said, How could this help Trump and the US? This is ridiculous. Well, obviously Tr Driver is trolling here, but I went ahead and bit and responded because the answer is so obvious. Trump will ignore women until they do something like this to be heard. And that pretty much sums it up. Next, we had a new viewer called Cody Helper, and Z said, Perfect America. Trump hates women so much that he made one his campaign manager, secretary of education, an ambassador of the UN, etc. Hashtag liberal logic. Well, I did respond to Cody, even though this seems to be a negative comment because it was respectful in tone. Normally negative comments will be deleted and the individual will be blocked, but Cody seems like a potential convert over to liberal causes. So I went ahead and responded with some information that Z can use to learn a little bit more. Cody Helper, Trump hates women so much that he worked with Putin to rig the election to prevent one from becoming president. Going back, we remember that Donald Trump attempted to or offered to run for president back in 2008, 2004, and maybe even 2000. However, he didn't do so because he would have had to run against a man. And because Donald Trump is a flaming sexist, he refused to run against a man. Rather, he waited until Hillary Clinton was the nominee to actually go through and run for president. And that, I think, is the clearest evidence we have of Donald Trump's obvious sexism. On top of that, he cheated in the election in order to, uh, in order to force Hillary Clinton to lose the election. Obvious, obvious stuff. Now, Cody responded to this with some other information, but I'm not going to get into the details because I can't address every single point in these short videos. But uh, Cody, thank you for the feedback, and I appreciate the, uh, the tone of your comments not being too negative. So as long as you continue with the cordial tone, you will not be banned. And that, everybody, is the feedback for this week. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you again soon.